Hey guys, what's up? It's Furious Lurie Woman here, and here I'm back again with an episode 11 of the Game Maker Studio series for FNAF Fan Game. And today we're going to be working on the Night 2. This will mainly focus on the mask, the cameras, and generally just setting up Night 2. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first off what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get the camera buttons ready up. So, it's really easy, honestly. All you got to do is you just duplicate the Night 1 cameras right here. And you know, just bring them to night two, basically. So all you, all I did was I just you know took every cam, duplicated it, and then I just get and then like at the start of it, uh, for the night one, I put night one, and then for the night twos, I put night twos. So yeah, that's basically all you have to do. You don't mess around with these. Just don't do anything with these. Just focus on these for now. So what we're gonna have to do now is we're only gonna have to focus on the yes ones. The no ones don't really matter because uh, all they do is they just, you know, they just take you to the no camera and then they just flash. So they don't really matter, uh, but you still have to duplicate them. So first off, we're going to go to the yes camera. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make the night faster because since it's the second night, then we got to increase the difficulty. So right here uh, on the set variable, this is right here. This is how many seconds it takes for Rick to move. So as you can see, in the first night, he started at 12 seconds to actually start moving. But we want to make that faster to increase the difficulty. So all you have to do is you just change that number to whatever you want. So this time, instead of 12 seconds, he's going to move faster because now it's 7 seconds. And yeah, that's basically all you do to change the time for this specific camera, though. We're going to have to change it for the other cameras. But we're going to have to go to the Arm Zero event. And right here on the change instance box, we're going to have to change those to the night two version. Now the thing is, the way I made it is that since the heading right here is pretty easy, then all I have to do is just see the name and just change it to the night two version. So originally right here, it just said, oh, night one, camera button two, no. So then all I did was just change it to, oh, night two, camera button two, no. So yeah, just do that basically and make sure you have performing events on. on to yes and yeah that's basically it for this camera if anything else is like if there's more change instance thingies in yours then you just change it as well so now we got to check up on the other yes camera right here the second camera which is the second camera that he moves to and remember change the time you can have separate times for each camera by the way so right here if I wanted to make them a bit faster then I could change it to like I don't know five seconds uh, or six seconds so yeah you can have independent times for each camera so I'm just gonna leave it at seven just to you know keep it consistent uh, but right here on the change instance part uh, we just have to change that to the night two version just like we did with the other one so yeah I just changed it because originally it was the night one camera two no and now it's the night two one and don't really change anything I'll just leave everything else is the same because we've already worked on that so once that is done, we got to focus on the kind of hard part, uh, which is the mask. And right here, uh, if you did the mask part, uh, the code might look a bit different to you if you did like copy it straight off of me how I did it. Uh, so right here, I kind of just reworked the code a bit because I was having a bit of issues. I'm not going to get into that. It took me like two hours to solve. Um, but basically, uh, I was having some issues with uh, Rick going back to the cameras and stuff. But let's not get into that too much. So all you have to do is instead of having it how it was before where this line was in here and this part was in here where it was just basically this, uh, we don't want it like that anymore because that's going to cause bugs. So instead, before that, you want to put if instance exists, the night one camera button, no, of the stage camera or the, or the camera like where he starts because that's where we want him to go back to. Then, basically, with that camera, it just changes it to yes because uh, it's going to take Rick away because, remember, this is the mask. But, now, what we have to add is we want to have to do the same thing. So, you could literally just copy this, and then you could just paste it right here. So, like, I'm just going to do it right now, for example. Like that. And then, this is really all you have to do. Change it to night 2. You see how easy that is if you have that little header right there? That's my best advice, is that you should add that, because it's just, it just makes it a whole lot easier. 
And yeah, basically, once you do that, make sure you hit, make sure you don't have the little red blocks. Uh, if you do, be sure to head on over to my Discord server or in the comments down below, and uh, send me the code and stuff so I can review it and I can tell you what's wrong. So yeah, now that we've got that done, uh, a lot of people are probably gonna have issues with this, so don't be afraid to tell me in the comments if you do, uh, because I will help you. And yeah, now that we're done with the cameras, the last part is just going into the night two and changing the camera buttons. So before, I'm just gonna minimize it actually. Oh, I just wanted to maximize. Let me just make it smaller. Just like that. Okay, so if we pull out the night one room, like like because uh where you where you just have to do is you just have to duplicate night one and put it down here. That's basically the easiest way to make like a second night or third night or fourth night or how many however many nights you have. So we so like basically when you duplicate it, the way it's gonna be is that everything basically just looks normal. Basically the exact same as this one. No difference, right? But there is one difference, the camera buttons. So right here this is a night one part. And this is basically what yours is gonna look like. Night one cameras. If you look down here at the object thing, night one cameras. We don't want that. We wanna change it to the other one. So all you gotta do is you go into your little uh part picker and basically so like right here i had the night one camera button one yes as seen down there in the object then all you want to do is get the night two version of that right here and then you literally just basically you just replace it you delete this one you bring the other one down and you put it right there simple as that and you do that with every camera so i already did it with all the other ones see we got night two night two night two and night two and yeah that's basically literally all you have to do for the night two. It's not that hard. But if you do have other things like, I don't know, event system or stuff like that, then you are going to have to kind of work on that on your own. But I'm guessing most of you are pretty experienced with Game Maker, so you, should have, you shouldn't really have any problem with that. But if you need help, always be sure to head on over to my Discord server and just ask me or somebody else. So now all we're going to have to do is test it. Uh, testing this part, you're going to have to test for every single little possible thing. The animatronic jump scaring you, uh, the mask onto the animatronic and stuff like that. Test every little part and make sure that it works. Uh, I've already tested it prior to this because, funny enough, uh, I was actually recording this, but my mic gain was really, really high, so it just sounded like, it just sounded like ear rape through my microphone, and I did not like that one bit, uh... So I had to basically re-record this whole thing. So that was a big feels bad moment. Uh, but yeah, so right here, it's the slow version because this is night one, keep in mind. So yeah, he's gonna take a while, you know? He's taking about like 12 seconds maybe. Yeah, he's right here. So now we're gonna put on the mask. Make sure that he goes away. And there you go, he goes away. Now we're gonna go into the cameras. And look at that, he's right there, back where he was. Make sure that he takes the time that you do have him on to. So like right here is supposed to take long. And yeah, it works. So since we know that that works, make sure, uh, because I've already tested the jump scares and stuff to make sure that that works, and it does. Uh, but for you, you're going to want to test basically everything. Make sure that the toxic bar works and everything. Uh, for both nights, that is. Uh, since we did manipulate the code. So now here, you got the night complete screen. Very conveniently, where, where I literally just finished and I was about to skip the night. Alright, now we head on to night two. And just skip that screen. So yeah, right here, he's going to have to move faster. So he's going to not take as long. See, there we go. He moved way faster, if you were paying attention. And right here, he's going to move faster as well. Look at that. And now he's right here. This is the hard part because you want to really test this all out. Make sure that it works. And then, right here, he's back. Make sure that he goes fast. Yep, and he does go fast. So, yeah, we, we basically tested it. You know, make sure that it works. And I'm just going to let him jump scare me, you know. Because just to make sure that that works, it's going to work because it's basically the same thing. Say so he's going to pop out in just one moment. Right, there you go. I'm dead now. Spoopy. 
and there we go so yeah uh so yeah just basically test like every little crevice of your game just to make sure that it works uh and yeah that was basically it for this episode guys i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did please be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to join the warriors and expand our empire and also be sure to head on to my discord down below if you want to meet awesome people in the discord or me and we can just sit there and chat we have like game nights and stuff it's pretty fun uh so yeah my next episode i think it's gonna be mainly on like an extra screen you know stuff like that like to like like in like the fnaf games where they have like a little extra screen uh i'm not gonna do 2020 20 mode uh because i quite frankly don't really know how to do that uh i do know how to make hard mode nights though so that's gonna go into the extra segments of the series because this series is not going to be over yet. You guys can still request stuff in the comments, and I will uh, put out tutorials to help you guys out with that. Like, if you guys want to, like, a little different system. Nothing too far stretched out, like, a whole camera system, because that's going to take a long time. It'll basically be, like, a whole other series. Uh, but, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Okay, okay,